just got my new electric bike. I bought an e-bike and I'm gonna do a quick unboxing. So I'm gonna bring you guys along. Okay, here we go. Uh, here's what the box looks like. Got a little dent in here, a little. I just wanna make sure I look at the whole box before I open it. Overall looks pretty good, I guess. I guess what matters is how it came inside. Check that out. Just gonna cut the tape here. Many suppliers for these big old staples. Oh, we need pliers. Oh. All right, I hope you guys can see there. I'm gonna go ahead and, I'm just gonna tear this open. So I don't have to lift the, the, the bike out of the box. Right, got my veneers, if that's how you pronounce it. These are free. I used a uh, coupon code from uh, these YouTubers. I'll, I'll put their name right here because I can't remember right off the top of my head. So you're supposed to just make sure everything you inspect the entire bike, make sure nothing's bent, make sure everything's okay, and that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, my charger. <laughs> I should have known better. The battery's way longer. So, got your charger in here. And I ordered a black one. I got a black one. Seems like they did a pretty good job so far. Handlebar. It's pretty good. So the first step, it says, according to the instructions, grab the uh, handlebar here, the stem, and then lift up this cast or this clasp, lock it into place, and then push in the safety pin in all the way like that. Next, we're gonna grab the bike by here and just by the back actually fold it like that, clamp it good oh you stretch it out like that <laughs> I hope you guys can see it but... oh. and then close this clamp all the way like that and I'm gonna have to adjust everything to see and everything to my height with the kickstand next up you want to make sure your pedals are out you gotta lift them up Make sure they're secure because these are folding pedals. Do the same on this side. Make sure they're into place there. All right, so what I'm going to do now is, I'm, and I'm not going to film this, I'm just going to look at everything closely, make sure everything's okay. And here are the keys, so I got to cut those off. Um, just looking for any blemishes on the paint or anything. I got to take that off. Here's a derailleur. You got to take this stuff off. And these, according to the uh, guys in the forum, these have been coming in banged up. And mine is, oh no, that's, there's nothing on there. It's pretty good. Let's see if it's bent. Well, it looks pretty good to me. And they put a, include a little plastic protector here for this. I'm just going to take that off. There. I guess I can keep that. So mine came in. Looks looks pretty good, I guess. Not banged up or anything. Now the charging port here. Here's that plug. And mine doesn't stay in there. Oh, that sucks. Mine won't stay in. That plug will not stay in. Front fork looks good. No uh, no scratches or anything. Paint looks good. So far so good. I got to put some air in the tires though. Look. You have a handlebars up here. Look pretty good. Everything looks good. All right, so I'm going to get some air in these tires, plug it in, let it charge, and uh, get on, see if I can get a ride in this bad boy. All right, I'm going to go through every nut and bolt on this bad boy and make sure everything's tightened up while it's charging. I got the charger here. I got it hooked up to the bike. The manual says before you ride it, make sure the battery's charged. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to take this uh, film that's on the screen there. It says electric. Pretty impressed, man. I was dreading. Uh, I was dreading that the bike was going to come with some sort of like 
scratch or something, but it looks good so far. You got to get underneath and look underneath really good. I do have one scratch right here. You guys can see it. Right? All right, check the seat out. This is the iPal Comfy seat or something like that. I'll link it down below if you want to check it out. It's it has some nice, you know, cushion on here. It doesn't have the springs though. It's plastic, just like the one that uh, Electric sends you. I'm not sure the difference is that big for me to keep this one. I couldn't get my hands on one of the uh, Cloud Nine ones. They're out of stock, obviously because of the whole pandemic issue. Everything's out, uh, running out of stock, and it's slow to they're slow to restock up. But I'll give this a shot. I'm not sure I'll keep it though. Just want to show you guys the battery. It's a 500 watt battery, and not too heavy. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you here what it looked like. And on the bottom here is where you put your uh, key in and you have your unlock, your off and on positions. And uh, I'll talk more about this in, the, in a different video probably, but to uh, lock it, you just pr put the key in, press in and turn it to the lock position. When it's locked, you can't bring, uh, pull the key out. So that's just a little tip. Quick spin, my first ride. It's dark though, it got delivered late, but I had to charge the battery and it took about a good two hours, I would say. So let's go out on my first ride. I'm gonna turn the GoPro on. And get on the bike. And kick stand up. Press the mode button. It says till it turns on. Boom. There we go. And I'm just gonna go ride it first without any pedal assist. All right, for a first time ride and all that, those night shots don't do it justice. Let's go, uh, let's go for a ride real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and hop on the uh, GoPro again and bring you guys along. Got my keychain. I may take that keychain off. I don't want that dangling there. And push up, put it into lock. And there it is, it won't come out. So yeah, I'm gonna definitely have to take that keychain off. All right, let's press this mode here. There we go. Did about five miles yesterday. Start off on no pedal assist. Let's get out here. Still gotta get my adjustments on my, my handlebars and all that, my brakes. I haven't even really done anything on. Let's go ahead and jump into pedal assist one. There we go. Go to pedal assist two. There we go. Get a little throttle. Keeping it in three. 20 miles an hour. 21. Go to four. Now I gotta unlock it. Woo! Just wanted to make a video today just to show you guys what to kind of expect when you get your bike. Uh, well worth the wait. I know the whole process of buying an electric bike is about six weeks it took for me to get mine and that's the down part about it. Hopefully that'll get better with time. I know a lot of people out there are waiting for the bike so I figured I'd make this video to show you guys a little unboxing show you what kind of what to kind of expect once you get your bike. Make sure you just check it. Make sure everything works and if you have any issues make sure you can contact electric right away. Uh, thankfully I didn't have any issues. I do got to make some adjustments. I got to check the derailleur, the brakes, uh you know fine tune everything but overall i'm very happy with the purchase so far i'll probably do a long-term review once i use this bike more uh but i'll make another video i'm gonna make another video i ordered some accessories for it 
I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna add, what I'm gonna change. It's not really a lot, but uh, expect another one of those videos coming up uh, on my channel soon, all right? Thank you for, wa for watching, guys. Please take care, stay safe, peace.